Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to create a beautiful skin tone in Photoshop. Welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by Dirty Studio. Now to create this beautiful skin tone in Photoshop, you have to press Ctrl J on your keyboard or you go to this background layer and you right click and you select duplicate layer then you can rename this layer to anything you like and just click on ok now we want to do some kind of things on our image before we create the skin process we want to kind of increase the contrast of the image and the saturation and some part of the image then before we go to the main process of doing that skin tone because our image looks somehow desaturated and the colors are not popping enough so to do this you have to go to your creating adjustments layers then you move to your vibrance once you go to vibrance you just let's increase the vibrance to be around 48 to be around 48 and once it's at 48 or you can leave the vibrance to be around 50 and your saturation you can just increase it to be around plus 2 or I'll just move the vibrance to be around let's say 28 looks better and once you're done you have to just remove it and before and the after now i want to move to the skin tone process you have to just go to this create new adjustment layer you select your solid color we want to change the code of this our color picker this our solid color so if you pick any color in your photoshop it's going to change to that color but for me i want to use a better skin tone color a better skin tone code you can use so now i'll be telling you the code you can use but it's for some kind of image and it's more good for chocolate skin and for lighter skin this skin tune is better for lighter skin and chocolate skin now you have to just go to this code area and once you go to this code area you have to type this code which is you have to type f f once you type f f you type d on your keyboard then you type zero then you type b and you type nine and as you can see it's going to create one kind of light nice skin tone that we can use on our image and remember the code is f f d zero b nine you can use any other nicer skin tune you like for your image but i'm just going to be using this my normal one which is ff then d then zero then b and then nine and once you are done you have to just click ok the next thing you have to do is to rename this color fill layer that we just created you have to rename it and i'm just going to double click on the name of this color fill layer you have to left click but you do it twice once you double click you have to change the name to tune skin and once you are done changing it to tune skin you have to hit enter on your keyboard press enter on your keyboard and the name is going to change now what you are going to do next is that you are going to change the blending mode and we want to remove the blending mode to be around multiply once we have done the skin tune process on our image we'll test other blending mode to see how the results will look like but the best is multiply and once you use your multiply you have to then move to your skin tune layer and you right click on it and select group from layers now we want to group only the skin tune layers and once you click on the skin tune layer and select group from layers this new group from layers is going to open now you can rename it to tune skin and once you are done you have to just click ok and now it's going to group this our tune skin layer and another process or another way you can group this layer let's just press ctrl z to go back another way you can do it is by clicking on this your tune skin layer once you click on it you press ctrl g on your keyboard and once you press ctrl g it's going to group it now you double click on this group one name layer you have to change the name to tune skin and once you are done you just hit enter on your keyboard and it's going to change the name but as you can see the effect has affected all our image we don't want this effect to affect all our image we want it to just affect only the skin so the next thing you have to do here is just go to your skin tune 
group layer and you just hold alt on your keyboard you hold alt on your keyboard the alt and then you left click on this layer max you can see this layer max at this section hold alt and left click and it's going to create a new dark layer max and it's going to remove the effects from the picture another long process you can use to create this dark layer max this black layer max is by going to this thin skin grouped layer and you then just click on this layer max this white layer max is going to show meaning the effect is on our picture now we want to hide the effects from our picture you just click on this skin tune layer max and then you press ctrl i on your keyboard you press ctrl i on your keyboard and it's going to invert the layer and as you can see once you have inverted all the effects has disappeared from the image now what you are going to do is that you are going to select your brush once you select your brush you will increase the flow you will increase your opacity once you increase the flow and the opacity you then increase the size of your brush and let's start applying this our skin tone effect on our image and as you can see it's kind of creating a more different skin tone on our image don't worry because it's still dark you can still adjust it so let's keep doing this on this part of the image and i'll just go to this high ears if you make a mistake you have to make sure this one above is black and the one below is white and you can be able to remove the colors and what you have done on the image if the one that is above is white and the one below is black you will be able to add the effects on your image so i'm just going to continue adding this our skin tone effect on this our image another shot or another nice way or more accurate way you can do this is by selecting your quick selection tool click on this background layer and we want to select only the skin and you can see you have selected only the skin of the image so it's not going to affect this our background so now i'm just going to select my brush click on this skin tune layer max and continue applying it on the image let's remove it from the lips remove it from the eyes and these areas so i'm just going to continue applying it on this hand neck and let's go down again to apply it on these places and as you can see the effect is now making our picture to look more better and more nice and as you can see you can also reduce the opacity of your image you can reduce the opacity and let's look at it before and this is the after and as you can see the skin tone process is more nice and now for what i told you before that i want to kind of use another blending mode to just test the results of our image i'm not supposed to do this i'm just going to click on the skin tone layer this is our skin tone layer and go to the blending mode options and let's choose color born and as you can see the results it looks different from the way it was before so depending on how the image looks for you but this one kind of look more darker you can still reduce the opacity at this area you can reduce the opacity to be around 49 let's look at it before and this is the after our image is looking more nice but if your color bone is not nice you can leave it to multiply but let's still look at other options i think there's no other option that look more better is this our multiply and this color bone i think the color bone look more beautiful let's look at the multiply again if it starts multiply let's leave it to 100 and as you can see the result this this our multiply blending mode is kind of looking dull and this our color bone is kind of looking more sweet if you reduce the opacity it's kind of looking more sweet on the image before and this is the after so i'm just going to leave it to this our color bone for now let's let's just leave it to the color bone and reduce the opacity to be around 40. let's look at what we are doing again the image look nice and now we want to do some kind of extra editing on our image we want to do some kind of extra editing on the image so now i'm just going to go to create new adjustment layer select brightness and let's increase the brightness that one looks better so what if we just increase this our opacity and look at how it will look like on our picture let's just increase the opacity of this our grouped skin tool layer if i increase the opacity you will see it will look more bad on our image and as you can see you will also notice some kind of places that i didn't apply the skin tool on you will see some kind of places here that i did not apply it on so i'm just going to select my brush and adjust it and apply it on that areas and i'll make sure that 
every of the skin is selected except the eyes and the lips let's look at the before and the after for this our color born blending mood let's look at the before and the after let's zoom in the picture this is the before and this is the after if we zoom out this is the before and this is the after and now let's look at the before and the after for our multiply blending mode option so i'm just going to change it to multiply and let's look at the before and the after for this but for this i'm going to increase the opacity i'm just going to increase the opacity and now let's look at the before and the after this is the before and this is the after if we zoom in again and look at the before and the after this is the before and this is the after and also let me know which of the method is good you let me know which one looks more better if you try it on your image or which one do you prefer more do you prefer the multiply or do you prefer the color bond and we are done with this tutorial thank you for watching if this video was very helpful to you subscribe for more videos turn on notifications so youtube will notify you when i upload a new video and leave a like to help the channel out